about floor four it does start to take a little bit of a step up in difficulty as far as design goes for the maps that are yet to come in this game not as hard as floor three of course since there's a more of a mix of guards but it's still kind of tough in some places there's not a lot of side areas but the rooms aren't as lightly guarded as well some of the rooms are a lot more guarded but what's, what stands out about this map though is that the amount of death guards continue to increase. That's the guards that will not be alerted to your presence unless you walk right in front of them. And the thing is, especially in this game, those type of guards are widely placed. So you can like walk into a room, not having anybody in there, walk in, there's guards at your side, they'll just shoot you down right away. So you gotta be careful with, with that. But but is there, in this map though, they're not too difficult to come across, but it does get harder as the game goes on. And also what's, what's unique about this map is that there are a lot of rooms behind pillars as, and, as, and guards in secret areas as well. So, I mean, the, not just the pillars, but you know, there's gonna be more guards behind these pillars, and they can use that to the, your advantage. Well, to their advantage, I'm sorry, your disadvantage, I would say. And there's 13 secrets in this map also. So as I keep saying, from the beginning of this game, there's a lot of secrets in this map. There's only one map through these first four, and through the first 10, um, let me see here. Ah, uh, yes, so through the first 10, Eight of those maps have at least ten or more secrets. Only two of these maps, and so far, Floor 2 was the only map that did not have double digits in, um, in secrets. Kind of crazy, huh? But that's it for Floor 4. Let's move on to Floor 5, which this floor, oh boy. After I did this floor, I was seeing this floor in my nightmares. Until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.